The sum of the infinite series is a definite integral. From 0 to 1, x to the power of negative x, dx. Let's prove that. Integral from 0 to 1, x to the power of negative x, dx. We can write as 0 to 1, e to the power of log, x to the power of negative x, dx. Right? Then we put negative x in front of the lawn, so we get 0 to 1, e to the power of negative x, lawn x, dx. Now we can use the Taylor expansion of the function. So we get 0 to 1, sigma, and equals 0 to infinity. So the bottom is n factorial. Top is negative x to times ln x to the power of n dx. Now we swap the sigma and integral side. So get sigma n equals 0 to infinity. At the same time, we take negative 1 to the power of n out. The bottom, n factorial. Thing left would be integral from 1. A 0 to 1, x to the power of n times ln x to the power of n dx. Let's denote this definite integral as i1. So let's calculate that. So i1 equals, let's do a substitution that u equals negative ln x. So u equals negative ln x. So x equals e to the power of negative u, right? And then let's change the limit. When x equals 0, ln x negative infinity. So u should be positive infinity. When x equals 1, ln 1 equals 0. So get like that. And here x to the power n now becomes e to the power of negative n u ln x equals negative u so negative u to the power of n and dx equals negative e to the power of negative u du right now let's take negative 1 to the power of n out so negative 1 to the power of n and Integral, let's see. Here we have negative, so let's swap the upper limit and lower limit. So we get 0 to infinity. Okay, things left will be u to the power n. u to the power n. And here times e to the power of negative n u, negative u. So it be negative n plus 1 times u, du. Now we do another substitution that v equals this part. So e equals n plus 1 times u. So you see dv should equal to n plus 1 times du, right? So then we get negative 1 to the power of n. The limit do not change, so we still keep 0 to infinity. And here u equals v over n plus 1. Yeah, so we get v over n plus 1 to the power of n. And here we get e to the power of negative v, right? e to the power of negative v. And du equals dv over n plus 1. dv over n plus 1. Now we can take, at the bottom, we have n plus 1 to the power n, and there's another n plus 1. So actually we get negative 1 over, uh, to the power of n over n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. And then we have 0 to infinity, v to the power n 
times y ถ้าว่า negative v dv let's denote the definite go as i two right so let's evaluate the definite go i two so now i two equals let's apply integration by parts so i put this part as d something so okay. integral from zero to infinity v to the power n and this part we can write as d to the power negative e to the power negative v okay using integration by parts so we get v to the power n times negative e to the power negative v so evaluate at infinity and zero minus integral zero to infinity vdu so take this part out so we negative e to the power negative v times d this part take the differential so we know that's n times v, v to the power n minus one and then dv right so you see when v equals infinity using law Patel's rule, the values will be zero. When v equals zero, again, this part also equals zero. And here, negative, negative, positive. So actually we get zero to infinity. And here we only have v to the power n minus one. And then here we have e to the power negative v, dv. Compare this one and this one, you see the only difference is here's n now becomes n minus one. So we can apply integration by part again, but I don't want to waste time. So we'll see, we will get, oh, here we get n, sorry. Yeah, we miss n here. Okay. So then we get n times n minus one and then integral from zero to infinity. Then the exponent becomes n minus two e to the power negative v dv follow this pattern using mathematical induction finally we'll get n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 continue to 2 and then 1 and times definitely equal 0 to infinity e to the power of negative v dv it is easy to see the value of this one would be 1. So the outcome is n factorial. So look back here. I'll say. So the definite goes from 0 to 1. x to power negative x. dx equals sigma n equals 0 to infinity. And here the bar is negative 1 to the power of n over n factorial and then times i1 right but you know i1 equals this part times i2 let's write down so we get uh, I, I would say yeah so we get negative 1 to the power of n over n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1 times i2 right and then we know i2 equals n factorial. Yeah. So we get sigma n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the power of n times negative 1 to the power of n. The bottom is n factorial times n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1, and then times i2, but i2 equals n factorial, right? So n factorial. So cancel n factorial, and then the product up top is one. So actually we get sigma n equals zero to infinity, one over n plus one to the power of n plus one. You can see when n equals zero, we get one over one. When n equals one, we get one over two squared. When n equals 2, we get 1 over 3 to the power of 3. So actually, that is the left side. So we are done.